Hi right, guys, so now we're you know basically on part two of wiring up the column helper and we're about to start the column. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know, this is the board and this is the ponytail. So these are the two parts that we're gonna be wiring up. So we, we got the board done on part one, part two, we're gonna start the ponytail. So we've got our 16 column with our 08 uh, to 10 multi-switch clock spring setup. Um, so uh, we are using 08 multi-switch pigtails and 08 clock spring pigtails. So we're gonna talk about those in a minute. Um, but basically, I got the instructions right here and I'm just gonna shoot down each wire and just go ping, 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 just one wire at a time and, and knock it out. Uh, and then I got my clock spring wire, my old ones up here. So this is just, this portion is gonna be a lot of cutting and splicing. So let me go ahead and take care of this cutting and splicing because you don't need to sit there and watch me cut and splice 10,000 wires. So um, other than that, uh, this is this wire is for the, the brake pedal. So when you hit the brake, this you know lights up the brake lights. Um, it's kind of an oddball out right now. So it's gonna be the first one that I knock out and it is the first one on my list. So this pink lining up, are ones that we did on the board so I don't need to do those so from here pretty much down is cutting and splicing so the first one is the brake lamp and it tells you right here you know wire brake lamp to L1 brown so I'm guessing if we dig up oh right there Did you see it you see it right there so this is what that uh, green one needs to go to I should say goes to truck gear all so this is gonna be what goes to the brake light. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna cut it, twist them together, solder it. Make sure you solder it. If you use buck connectors on this, so help me God, I'll be disappointed. So no buck connectors, heat shrink and solder everything. So um, make sure you put heat shrink on first too, boys. So, all right, so that this is the weird oddball out. Um, I'm gonna take care of that one first and then uh, I'm gonna start shooting them down. I'm gonna do the wipers and do everything else that it tells me on here. So um, other than that, another tip that you need to do um, is make sure you have this column extended all the way out, okay? You don't want it to be pushed all the way in and you wire everything exactly to length and then you go to telescope this this out and rip some wires and it just, it won't come because you don't have any more wire, you know? Just, you know, just, you know sometimes that couple inches, you know, <laughs> It could really help, you know what I'm saying, brother? So uh, make sure you got everything and you uh, making it long as you need it. So got got that telescoped out. We got the 08 to 10 multi-switch clock spring set up on there and we're ready to rock and roll. So uh, there is one thing, there's a lot of confusion on the clock spring wiring. Uh, the main thing with that is I noticed that there's three different setups and some of them have some slightly different wires. So. Uh, I'm gonna post a picture. I'll probably post it right now on the different setups that there are. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post that right now and go ahead and take a look at that, guys. There's three of them. There's one for basic normal trucks, then there's ones with sync, and then there's ones with uh, the fan temp controls. And these are the three setups, okay? Um, and that's just the way it is. So. Um, now, you know, the more you know. So, all right, back to this column. Um, let me go ahead and get through some of the boring stuff, the cutting and splicing. And when I get to the nitty gritty, I'll come back and I'll, I'll show you what I did. So let me get to work and we'll be back. Excellent, stop looking that dick. Here we go. All right, guys, check it out. So uh, I've got a lot wired up on the column, did a lot of cutting and splicing. So we got the brake shift interlock done. We've got the ignition done. We've got the multi-switch done. And then uh, we've got the overdrive done. So the only thing I have left is the clock spring. That's what, that's next up. And so I wanna talk about that because that's where it gets a little weird. So uh, I've been talking to Lewis about it. We had to do a little bit of investigating because we were getting harnesses with different colors and different pins. Like, see, look, this one has more than this one. And you know, some of the airbag wires weren't the same color. It was really weird, but I finally sat down. I figured it all out. So I'm gonna post that picture again showing the difference in the different three different types of clock spring wires that you can get all right check it out so there's the one with sync there's a normal one you know that's xlt there's a temp control one and you know what some ain't got no pins some got some extra pins some got pins in different slots so keep that in mind all right i'm gonna show you so uh 
I sat down and I went through each pin in here and figured out where it comes out and exactly how this clock spring functions and figured out everything that I think it is perfect. So this is what I came up with. Um, Lewis does have his wiring, so I tried to reference and match this to run it with mine. Um, either way, probably, you know, works just fine. But uh, I sat down and figured it out. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a couple hours, but here's what we got. So this plug is this plug. You see how they kind of look the same? You like my 3D drawing? And then this plug is on the steering wheel harness, which is basically this guy. Um, so this being a 16 wheel, I'm gonna pull those pins out, put them in an 08 plug. That's what's going on here. So this is an 08 plug and then 16 wires, 2016 wires. So this is what I came up with and this is how it works. So uh, if this was a base model 08, um, clock spring pigtail like the one I just had that I just, this one, this guy. So uh, let's take a look. Pin one, empty. Pin one, not used. Pin two, violet brown airbag. Uh, it's violet brown. I know it looks brown blackish, but that's violet brown. And then we got none in pin three and four. Three and four is open and it's usable. So see how I drew these lines that go through? So pin three and four on here shoot out five and six up here. So. Uh, now that we have these two open slots, I decided to use um, one for messenger and one for phone ground. And then pin five is black violet ground. And, you know, obviously ground on the new harness. And then we got two more open ones on pin six and seven after the ground. So, you know, they're between that yellow and black. So those are open and they shoot to pin two and three. And I use the positives for here. So I got the grounds here and the positives here for those two. And then you got your horn on pin eight, which is that yellow red and you know, so on and so on. So, you know, if you want, go ahead and screenshot this bad boy. And then if you have, uh, let's say for instance, this harness, what is that pin four? It's got white violet. So that means that this, this is harness is off a sink truck. The truck was sink. And so it should have blue, orange and pin six, which it does. So boom. Um, so you, you might have to move some pins around, maybe add some pins. You know, if you don't have any pins, you can steal pins off of other plugs in the harness. A uh, perfect one that I like to use is this guy right here. And this is off the ring for the chipped keys. This one is the one that I usually steal plugs off if I need them. There's four there, that should be more than enough. Um, and that's pretty much it. So other than that, uh, I think that about covers everything that you need to do on the clock spring. So these are both 08 plugs. These are 2016 wires. So like this guy's gonna be using the fancy 2016 stuff with the messenger. And I'm gonna have to take off this 2016 plug and put on an 08 plug. I might have one in this bag. Let me see if I got one. There it is, this guy. So this guy is that guy and this guy is that guy. So boom. And then we're using 2016 harness. So I hope you understood that. I hope this makes sense. You know, uh, like another example for, for the audio wires. For, for this uh, access uh, interface, blue white ends up getting grounded out and then gray yellow goes to the white green here. So that takes care of the audio and then the cruise control is pin 14 and 15 which is that white one and that green brown now i've had the airbag feed i know it says yellow green this one's yellow green i think that one's yellow green but i've had it just be pure yellow before so i wrote you know a little yellow on there too so the more you know so i hope this helps you all out I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start cutting and splicing the whole clock spring, and I think I'm done with this whole harness. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, tape it up, and we're gonna get on out of here and throw this in the truck. So let me finish this bad boy, and I'll show you what she looks like when I get her done. Okay, guys, so check it out. So back here on the, the wires coming out of the ponytail, um, there's a handful of them that um, I didn't use. So I'm just letting you know, 
Look at that, that's a good chunk I didn't use. And those are for 99 to 01s, cause the 99 to 01 wipers get a little crazy. So that's what these are for. So, um, and then um, there's one green wire in here. This cruise controls for 99 to 04. Um, and since this is an 05 to 07, we had to use this for the, the cruise control. So make sure you get that right for your cruise control. Um, so there's three wires, you know, they, they share the same return. Um, is it the return? Yeah, yeah. So, so they use the same return, but the 99 to 04 trucks use this cruise control wire and then 05 to 07s use that con uh, cruise control wire. So just another thing, you know, to keep a heads up for. And then um, all I have left for the clock spring on the pit, uh, ponytail where the other wire go is these two the cruise control inputs so i'm going to wire these to the clock spring so basically the the computer goes to the helper and then the helper goes to the clock spring so basically the clock spring is interfering not interfering but like it's basically translating the 16 cruise control so that the the old computer is like oh okay i don't understand what's going on it's translating for it so that's what's going on so uh, I've got all my new clock spring wires ready to go. So we just have to route them and then we can just cut and splice. We'll be ready to rock and roll. Uh, another thing too. So I'm using 11 to 16 um, uh, cruise control. So you need to activate and tell the, the cluster helper that you're using an 11 to 16 cruise control and ground it out. So what I did was I just grounded it straight out. And so that, that lets the cluster helper know that, hey, we're using an uh, uh, 11 to 16, we're using 11 to 16 uh, cruise, and we're using an 05. So the cluster helper knows exactly what combo we're using. So if we we're using an 08 to 99, then you know we wouldn't wire this yellow wire, and we wouldn't use this orange wire, and we'd only use this, we'd only use the green wire. So then it would automatically assume we're using 08. I hope that made sense. I hope all this makes sense, guys. I feel like I understand it, but sometimes I feel like I'm speaking Japanese to y'all. So other than that, let me route these clock spring wires, you know, fancy through the dash and tidy this up and cut and splice it. And I'll be back and we'll have a rock and roll. And other than that, I think uh, we pretty much got everything squared away. So let me get it going. All right, guys, she's ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll. Look at that. Clust column helper is looking good. Headlight switch ready to rock and roll. Column all taped up and looking pretty. Oh man. There's a lot of work went into this guys. I'm not I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. But oh that looks that that's a clean setup right there. That looks real clean. Look at that. You can get to all the relays, you know what I'm saying? Really happy with this. So um and then right there, we still can access the port for if we need to, you know, plug the laptop into it. So, pretty cool. So I might just tuck that over there for right now so I don't forget it. And then uh, let me show you the back side. Come on. Let's hold up. Oh, this piece of rubber's holding it. All right, so boom. There she is. Man, look at that. I think that looks super cool. That looks super cool. So, uh, got everything taped up. Um, you know, I put this little, if I feel like the wire might chafe on like this, you know, I'll put some of this on there and it's wrapped up underneath the bottom. We got it all taped up looking pretty. That's what I'm talking about, boy. So, um, you know, the column wires are routing down that way. This is gonna plug, through the engine bay. Man, I don't know what else to really show you guys on the dash, but man, I think that thing just looks awesome. This looks just ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, I guess uh, one last thing I gotta show you guys uh, is the repinning of this bad boy real quick. So if you go through your instructions, hey, we talked a little bit about this already, um, right here. So. We got 11 to 16 steering wheel harness and cruise and audio buttons, but um, this 11 to 16 plug 
doesn't fit in there. That, that's not gonna work. Uh, oops. Uh, that's just, it just doesn't happen. Yeah. So, since that's an 08 uh, to 10 uh, clock spring setup, we're gonna need an 08 to 10 plug. That's what this is. So this is off a of 08 to 10 steering wheel harness. So we're gonna go ahead and repin this. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot down, you know, each pin at a time. That's what this guide is that I made. This is how I'm gonna run them. Um, you can follow this and get away with this one too. Um, the only thing mine has that this one doesn't is uh, you can use the phone. But honest, uh, I don't even have uh, that interface isn't set up for it. So either one will work, to be honest. So um, they both they both get the job done at the end of the day. So, but um, if you want to know exactly how the clock spring works, you know we already walked through this. You know. So pin, pin 15 goes through the clock screen and comes out on plug eight on this bad boy. So, all right, so other than that, uh, I'm gonna start unplugging these wires. So let's see, what is that? Pin one is green tan, and that's the messenger one too. So what I did here was on pin 16, we're looking for one green tan, that'll go in pin two. So I can just double check because there is a, there is two green tans, and let's let's do another wire. So let's say because right there, look at that corner. There's three wires that are I think you could easily mix up. Like well, you got yellow, tan, and white, but sometimes the colors fade and you can't tell them apart. So it's good to go by the pins. So let's say uh, pin eight is yellow. So if we come down my little list, pin eight is the phone yep it's yellow and we're going to plug that into pin five on here so etc etc we'll do one more weird one let's see what else we got so there's a light blue black and a dark blue black so let's do that dark blue so what are we we got pin 16 15 14 yeah 14 so come down Pin 14, that's the audio plus. Yep, blue, black. We're gonna put that in pin 10 in here. So, so other than that, uh, let me go ahead and pull all these pins out. And let me slap them in there real quick and show you what we're looking like. So, heck yeah. Okay, so I got the OA plug on the 11 to 16 steering wheel harness, got it all done. So uh, let's check it out. So let's, um, so we're on the OA plug. Let's look at, and pin five should be yellow. So there you go is the six. So one, two, three, yep, yellow right there, pin five. Yeah, so this last one's pin six, which is what, white, violet? Pin six, white, violet, yep, so booyah. If you guys didn't know, they're numbered. You see the numbers on there? So look, 12, 12 is empty, 12 do not use. What else we got? Uh, uh, my bad guys. So number seven is brown. Seven brown, so heck yeah. So now that we've got our 08 plug on there, come over here and just, oh my bad guys, bad camera angle. And voila, our steering wheel can now plug into our truck. And our clock spring is already wired up, so bang, gang, gang. And then so right here, um, next to the cluster wires, is I, I have it, so when, if he gets a cluster helper, he's already got the wires preset there, so the, the controller will work already. So the, the dash, the, the, basically the column's already wired for the cluster helper when it comes out, so. Other than that, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda, that, this was a project for sure definitely deserve a cold one after this but man look at that that looks really good i'm i like ah oh, it looks so cool it looks artsy fartsy so other than that um axel's taking a nap i kind of want to take a nap but i got more work to do so i'll catch you all later next video i think we're gonna be pulling the old dash and then putting this one together and then slapping her in you know, hopefully everything works out so i'll catch you all later i'm gonna take a break